Hello and welcome to the English Football Podcast. Today we're going to have a chat about the game at the Etihad where Manchester City won 1-0 against the Gunners. Way. So, um, <laughs> sorry about that. No, that's fine. So, we're going to have a chat about the game. Those two are Arsenal fans, obviously. Well, they've got the shirts on, you know, and all that. Uh, a day after they lost, so very loyal, loyal. loyal supporters. Still five points clear at the top, though. So. Shut up. It might not be for long though, so I'm just going to rest it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> we, from Man City's perspective, can they now win the FA Cup? Definitely. I think they're the only they're the only team in it to really that are really fantastic, if you know what I mean. I think if Arsenal would have won, I would have said Arsenal were going on to win, but I think that clash was just unlucky because both of those teams, that would have been a great final, especially because both of those teams are two of the best that are in there, but Unless Wrexham go on and win, uh, I think it will be Man City. Yeah. I mean, do you, you're talking about like the FA final? Was did that sort of feel like an FA Cup final? Because whoever won would very tense. be, well, probably would have yeah. won it. So, was it? Yeah, because it was such a big big game in terms of the teams, and also in the league situation, it just felt like a big game, and it, it's. It's kind of a good thing that um one of the, the Arsenal got knocked out because now you can focus on Prem, but um it did feel like a big game because whoever would win that could just go on and then maybe just win it now because Man City are the best team left in it. It was I think it was the first uh, Ake's goal was the first time he scored with his right foot. Mm, so thought, oh yeah, it was his right foot. Fun, fun fact. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I didn't know that. It was it was an alright goal for a centre back. Yeah, think. it was decent. So, it was just Matt Turner was in well not wrong positioning, just he left too much of the goal free. And yeah, well, Ram, Ramsdale's no better. <laughs> anyway, sorry, Fabianski. Who? I, 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 <laughs> anyway, let's let's move on. How how do you think Arsenal played? I personally thought we played really well. I think the first half was a bit sloppy, and we definitely could have got better. I think. If we cre- if we created more chances and definitely struck better on him, we would have easily scored. But first half a bit sloppy. I think second half, even though they scored, we we were, we controlled that second half in my opinion. And I think we were unlucky not to score definitely. And with Party coming off um, with like a rib injury, I hope he's not out for long. But yeah, we were unlucky that game. I think. What about you, Theo? Uh, did any players stand out for you? Not. I think there was players like I think Saka. Played quite poor actually. He yeah. didn't do that well. Ake, well he, he and who was in net for City, but I think their goalie and Ake goalie. were the best two players on the pitch that game, and they played really well. But we Arsenal, we didn't even play that well. We quite like you said sloppy, and we could we we played quite better in the second half, and we could have gone on to score. But Man City from quite a bit of the game they looked like they should have won that and they did um do you think the do you think man city winning there you know and the confidence knowing that yeah. they've beaten their premier league rivals will give them the boost in the premier league and maybe get them the the point gap smaller yeah. definitely because well, we're five points ahead of them, and if they can beat us now, they have the confidence and they know they can beat us the two games we have against them, which is already the five points out, so then they already take us over. Although, I think we've got one game in hand. Yeah. 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 But um, it just depends if we win. But, yeah, I think going on and knowing that they can win that game, that has really helped, and I think they'll be very aggressively chasing us at the top of the table now. Um, I mean, I think Man City... We'll beat you at the Etihad, but then you'll beat them at the Emirates. There, there's usually there's been the Liverpool game, the Man U game, at the Emirates against a big team. It's always a good game. So yeah. surely against Man City, yeah. it won't be a boring nil nil. Yeah, and I hope not. And it will be. Gonna be better than the loss, but. Yeah, be a good game. Anyway, thanks for listening. You've been uh, watching the English Football Podcast. Uh, Tune in next time. We'll be, you know, talking about the Bellingham stuff, probably more on Arsenal, and 
You'll see what happens. I'm Callum. I'm Theo. And I'm Luca. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.